to your youth. Um, what was your favorite memory of school? My my youth was too long ago. I'm 76, remember? Mm-hmm. So my youth is really more than half a century ago. I didn't have much uh, childhood because I grew up very fast. Uh, at the moment that I can read and write, I was already behaving like a teacher with all the ch- the neighborhood girl lady. I mean, uh, kids. I was the teacher under my house, in the house on stilts. Mm-hmm. So down there, I was a teacher. Ordering them, what is, what is one plus one, apa dua, campur dua, you know, I became a teacher, emulating my teacher, right. a standard one Malay school, kan? So, I didn't have that kind of childhood that you would think running around, you know, but when I was a, a bit later, you know, 10, 9 years old, I grew up in a mixed community, I was in Brickfields, right. so we played what the children there played, like Konda Kondi, they played Konda Kondi, I loved it, running around, and then because most of them were boys, I played all the boys' games. I played marbles. I played in Kampung Baru. I played kite, made my own kite with my brother. And we, I played up a cut, you know, mm. uh, throwing the, the the little flat stone at the cut, the stack of cuts. The guy yes. with the circle, we try to get that stone to kick out as many cuts from the circle. Yeah. Menguli, marbles, huh? Mm-hmm. So, in any, anything that the boys played, I played. So, that wasn't exactly childhood. It's just playing games. Just, you know, uh, I mm. guess entertaining yourself. No, it's just uh, community. Yeah. You know, the boys were playing kites. Just join in? Join in. Yeah. What's the problem? Yeah. Well. I didn't look at them as boys. <laughs> I enjoyed the uh, kite playing. Okay. I enjoyed. I made my own gasing. Mm-hmm. We had ga- uh, guava trees there, you know? So they they say, oh, they made their own gasing. So I made my own gasing. My brother made for him. Wow. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, what's the problem? You cut and then you uh-huh. shape it and then you put a nail. Tansri, when did you uh, decide? To go into politics, I and never decided to go into politics. Well, no, I told you, I never yeah. had an agenda. I never planned, you know that. So oh. how did it happen? Well, as you know, I was in, in the mm. university, and then uh, I was very active in terms of uh, doing co-op work mm. as a student. We set up our students' right. co-op, and then of course, Kwasi was there, you know, and uh, we. I was again very interested in organizations that reached out to others so uh, i was in a eventually i was in national council of women's organizations through wanita amno very young i was only what, 22 mm-hmm. and then i realized that we can do all these things by uh, doing things together to help women to uh, open the way for Equality of treatment for women. I mean, uh, uh, this is nothing new to me. You know, yeah. we did it uh, 50 years ago. Equal pay for equal work, equal treatment in terms of income tax, uh, changing laws that were restricting women. We have no quota. I don't believe in this quota 30% because it restricts us mm. numbers and all. We don't quota fillers. The best women take them. Right. Doesn't matter what the number is, and there are more women today. Exactly. So why restrict the numbers? We're not in the numbers game, you know. I forget it. If the nation is to to survive well for the future, let's just pick the best Malaysians. Gender is not of of a concern to us. Right. Yeah. And so uh, that's how I was brought that uh, brought up in the environment where they didn't care whether you're a girl or a boy. Mm-hmm. So that, that it is a fact. Right. That I was in VI. I did arm wrestling with the boys. I, I won. won. I, I <laughs> you won. did. Wow. Oh, and it eventually, I was challenged by Ton Mahade. Mm-hmm. When I told him about that, I said, I'm a, a good arm wrestler. He said, Chuba? And he wanted. Then in front of the cabinet members, we did arm wrestling. <laughs> and I won. <laughs> Very little effort. I pushed his hand down, you know. So mm-hmm. in other words, that's a kind of spirit. Yeah. Now, Tansri, um, let's address this. I mean, you were the longest-serving MP in Malaysia. No, no, not. Uh, well, I don't know, but it's very long. <laughs> yeah. You, you, did you ever, at the time, wake up in the morning, you know, tired of the issues, tired of the politics, tired of the no, same faces? No, no, I, I don't have that feeling of tired. Because I, when you are inside there, you cannot be tired. You know, it's, it comes in the package, it comes with the package. So you have to face it. You have to try to resolve it. Work together with your team to dis- to resolve it. That's how it is. Now that I'm retired, mm, I might be tempted to say I'm sick and tired of this rubbish. Then I go back to say I'm a Malaysian. And if I don't chip in to try and help to resolve in whatever way I can by talking to my friends at least first round and talking to people whom I give talks to uh, to see you know things in a better perspective. Then I'm not doing my my job as a citizen. 
So, Tanjri, what is the thing you hope for Malaysia, for a better Malaysia, for all of us? Well, let me put it this way. Malaysia is a blessed country. I don't deny the fact. But we have to make ourselves benefit from that blessed nature of this country by having the best governance possible in both the private sector, public sector, and most importantly, being the best possible citizens of diverse backgrounds in Malaysia. In other words, we accept the diversity. I hate it when people say, let's tolerate our diversity. Oh, yeah, I say, for the, the sake word. of God, not tolerate, accept it. The fact that I accept you're born different from me, right? I can you cannot mold yourself according to me, or and I mold myself according to you. There's no such thing, and no role model that you have to follow. You're not a clone. So in other words, I hope that Malaysians will realize that today is the beginning of the new tomorrow. So what we do today, we're gonna affect tomorrows, and the tomorrows are our grandchildren and the generations coming.